I want to start a series playing each Valorant character and learn more about them in the process. So why not start with the newest one, Clove, who has the best win rate and second highest pick rate. The goal is to learn more about their strength and weaknesses, get a higher win rate than the agent's average, and reach a new potential rank peak for myself. If this video gets 400 likes, then we'll do Astra, who has the lowest pick rate in the game currently. No peeking! For day one, I want to focus on one ways. I remember watching a video by Sliggy and his first impressions about Clove, and he was demonstrating a lot of one ways that they could do. Which reminds me that basically all controllers can do them, some more than others, where Omen probably has the most and Harbor the least, but Clove can still provide value and creativity with them. I took some of the ones that Sliggy showed, as well as a look online for Brimstone one ways, since they function basically the same in activation. I found that placing the center of the circle on edges of structures yield better results. After day one, I was only able to get two frags with one ways. This one in the post plant, which helped me get a kill before dying. A smoke. Last player standing. As well as a classic B main one, which I was able to get a kill before dying as well. No, 90 is over. I honestly wish I popped my metal before re swinging. I might have been able to get more than just one that time. Despite not having too many clips from utilizing one ways, it's still a nice to have them in my back pocket, since it's a skill that I can use down the line to help me win other rounds in the future. After day one, I still felt pretty good about Clove. It's an agent that rewards people for aim diffing, and I swear I was just trying to be a good teammate here. Sage? One enemy remaining. No shot that hits me. It's up, it's up, it's up, it's up. Well, well, someone else can have it. Someone else can have it. talking about, bro? What do you I already had an ult. I already had an ult. My bad. My bad. My bad. I was just trying to be a good teammate, man. After today, our win rate was 40%. One of which was because I lost both my Ascent games. I had teammates just mad at each other and refusing to let pass aggressions go. As well as just people being flat out the scummiest human beings on the planet. One was market. Shut up. Ooh, degrade me more. Ew, get back to the kitchen. Keep going, actually, I'm close. Usually when things get toxic like here, I try to remind people that Valorant is a team-based game and we need to win as a team. But after a long day of work and Valorant itself, I was at the point where I either just ignore people or mute them. I also lost a Breeze game where I figured Clove would struggle on when facing a team with a Viper. Overall, at this point, I still believe that we have a chance to get over a 52% win rate with Clove by the end of the week. I shot somebody! For day two, I had a mini goal of getting more first bloods today than I did yesterday while playing the same amount of games. The magic number to beat? 10. I also decided to watch Wahujin's brief and knee-jerk advice video about Clove. He basically said it was okay for non-smoke mains to lead on an attack, but to stop at the choke point and let the duelists do their thing. It would be a good idea to use cheesy weapons like the Odin, Op, and Judge since those weapons synergize well with Clove. Which came in clutch for game 1. During the attack, I did okay. I was only able to get 10 kills, but it was for 12 rounds. However, on defense, I started to struggle until I remember Wahujin's advice. I decided to abandon my humanity and use the Odin. I usually don't use these guns since they're not as satisfying as getting one taps with the Vandal. However, winning rounds is more fun than losing them due to pride, and thus began my onslaught with it. This world shall know pain. Nice. Tilting the enemy team round after round after round. However, they would eventually get the last laugh into overtime. My only regret was that I didn't use it earlier in the game. The next map was on Icebox, and I was able to use these smokes that I saw off of Wuhujin's video. I didn't use any AWP, Odin, or Judge on this map, and we were able to win it, mainly thanks to having A1 teammates, so I had the honor to clutch up some rounds for it. Kitchen, kitchen. Have one at least. Last player standing. Oh, one enemy remaining. Gotcha. She's one tap. She's hit 140. She was on tape. Ooh. 
Oh, you're so much better. However, the next map was Icebox again, and this time, I will be the only controller. And this map will be a matchup between Viper versus Chloe. And it looked like an easy win for us at the start, to the half switch, where they ran an absolute clinic on us. Their map control was amazing. Sometimes they would just walk into kitchen despite having KJ utility for mid and by sending fakes on top of fakes on both A and B site. We only got wins when pushing their spawn from time to time to deny their map control. But it was far too late and hopes of RR was gone. We lost to the better team. Things didn't improve either for the rest of the day. I had toxic teammates who would just say the F-slur off rip with no one even talking to them. Shut up. It what did I do? Or people who would just try to bring down the team's mental. Bait peeks that. I hit the close 70. One enemy remaining. <laughs> like Gecko, you see what happens when you fight? Holy sh**. Stop playing so scared. You guys know this is a team-based game, right? Yeah, let's chill out, dude. I understand where you're coming from, but just take a break. Like, like if you upset with someone, just talk to yourself, bro. Don't like, don't like bring the negativity out onto the team. Like, I was upset, to split, but I kept that joint to myself. KJ's market coming to you, Fade. Like, we're just giving up sight, not fighting anything. Why are we not FFing? Holy f you guys! Are Regardless, I lost every single game afterwards and it dropped my clove win rate down to 30%. I also only had 9 first bloods for the day too, which was one less than what I got yesterday. As punishment, I did 10 pull ups. <laughs> Dear friends and family members who are in higher ranks than me, I'm writing from Elo Hell, where am I a sinner who sucks at this game? It is my punishment for being a lesser man. I just want to say, I miss you. It feels like ages since we last you together and have fallen upon hard times. I went back to an old mistress I thought I'd never return to. Skill capped. I like their clove guide on how they pointed out ways to use metal in conjunction with teammates abilities to stall pushes and get the advantage when swinging corners. I was able to pull off kills with clove's decay a lot better after watching this. They also used a lot of clips from M80 Xander which was cool to see as well. Regardless I have to actively think when using it and it felt like I started to get more value too. It was still quite risky to throw it in swing corners and I failed many times in the process. As a solo queuer, the idea of comboing utility with randoms was out of the question. I also liked using this one way from Wuhujin's video from the previous day, but I made some adjustments to it by just placing one on pipes. However, this day was still headache inducing. I had a solo queue game where we basically lost a 4v5. The enemy team had a bronze 3 gecko in our lobbies dropping almost 40 plus kills. I don't even know how he managed to queue up with rank 7 plus divisions higher than him, but that's just Valorant's rank system. Solo queuing and getting paired against 5 stacks just doesn't feel good in my opinion. Even when I eventually won games, it brought me no joy. At this point, winning matches cost me my sanity and at least 10 years of my lifespan. I fear that I may never recover. It dawned on me how truly insignificant I am. I now know, as I grow older and my bones turn to dust from which they came, my impact in the cosmos will be non-existent. Just like how the sun will one day become a red giant, consuming everything within our solar system. And when the eventual heat death of our universe happens, and I know it will pale in comparison to the cold, dark feeling I had after today's games, I pray that you may never end up in ELO hell. Signed, a 25% win rate clove. Chin up cuties, it's not over yet. For day four, I knew I had to change my mindset. Instead of focusing on winning games, I just focused on getting better as a player. Where I decided to deathmatch for at least an hour before queuing comp. Here, I would focus on not just raw aim, but rather my movement, positioning, and placing my crosshair at common angles people hold in ranked games. I'll still post a win rate at the end, but it won't be keeping a daily eye on it. And of course, just saying that I would change it doesn't mean that it will be an instant switch. 
It actually took me till day six to truly stop fixating on winning games over focusing on improvement. I also watched Maxi, who's a Radiant coach, talk about his Clove Lotus match. I took this one smoke that he used for retakes on Seasight, but it kind of dawned on me while watching him that maybe Clove just isn't the right fit for how I like to play controllers, where I usually sit in the back line for post plants and use my utility to stall. But Clove's stall potential is drastically the lowest among all controllers. You could make an argument about Harbor, but he has walls on top of walls. Regardless, his tips did help me win two Lotus games that day. Overall though, we still lost more games than won them, which kind of still sucks. I reckon I'll take a kip after this. I've earned it. And for day 5, I decided not to watch any more guides or tip videos on Clove. This was also the second day I pushed myself to deathmatch for one whole hour. I honestly have major respect to people and pros who DM for more than one hour a day. It is a painfully boring task to do without music. I had a Breeze game where this play was a thing of pure bliss. I want to say that it was all planned, but that would just be me capping. To be honest, I just channeled my inner Moon Knight meme and said screw it, random ish go, and placed this smoke here for the heck of it since I had an extra one. And it actually worked out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. You gotta clip it. Hey, exclamation point clip. Oh, that's nice. legendary. That was crazy. You will also be criminal for me not to get an ace after playing Clove for a whole week. Spike down, B. Refreshing. Go. Remaining. Nice. I like it, Kaji. Oh, baby. I saw the light, and let me tell you, brothers, it was beautiful. I beg you. The and can't forget, pros don't fake. Drop in a smoke. And. Oh my god. god. Wow. Better. Nice. Maxi also said that he uses his ghost on pistol rounds, but I started to notice that Clove plus Frenzy isn't a bad combo either, especially when my aim is hot dog water. Swinging corners with pick me up and having a frenzy just will make the enemy team slam their dust for sure. My ult is ready. All he had was a shorty. What a bomb. Here. Now we start a winning streak of our own, eh? One of my favorite things to do on Icebox is to silently cross over into the enemy's nest. I find that this works best when your opponent plays slow and doesn't have a solid hard recon agent like Sova or Fade. I wouldn't recommend it if they play fast and have a recon agent. I also usually do this as Jet because it's easier to escape, but Clove does have some potential here too. Um, backside, backside, backside. Backside. Uh, yeah, really the next match was also on Icebox, where I thought I would surely die after getting this plan off in my ult. Nice. Under you, Clove. One enemy remaining. Um, um, um. Nice. I swear, this might be my favorite one way to place in post plans. Overall, day 6, I was able to shift my mindset from just winning games to actually improving as being my number one goal. I actually started to play better in the process too. Maybe it was a combination of that and doing 1 hours of DMs plus VOD review. I don't quit. Before day 7, I told myself I would never touch this character again. These past 6 days have done immense damage to my development as a human being. I actually started to lose my cool and curse on stream regularly. 
Old Kaizen would never. However, I was blaming everyone and everything but myself. I wanted to quit this 7 days challenge, but coming this far, I had to see it through. And thank goodness I did. I played out of my mind today. So you just hit 80, I think. Fight planted. Off your feet! One enemy remaining. <sighs> oh my oh god, my... you're better! That's so crazy! crazy. One, uh, Jet's elbow, so is Phoenix. I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah. Hair elbow, hair elbow. Oh my God, bro. And I won my first five matches. The tips and tricks that I learned from YouTubers helped, but I honestly felt like the biggest change started simply by just deathmatching one hour before queuing comp and VOD reviewing my games after each match. Both of these were painfully boring tasks, but they still helped a lot. And also if you're a controller, learning one ways can really help you. Overall, I can say that Clove is a very fun rank agent to play, and I can see why they have such a high win rate. Pick Me Up is such a refreshing ability to use and gets my dopamine receptors firing. It really pushes me to get more kills by swinging angles at Mach 5. Smoking after death can lead to satisfying moments too, where you feel like you contributed to the team despite dying early. There's times I love Clove's decay as well as moments I want their metal to stay in the trash bin where it belongs. The ultimate is nice, but the time restriction just sucks at times. However, I think it explains why Clove's overall KD is bad despite having such a high win rate. People just end up dying with it, but I have to say it does make the ultimate a bit more balanced. However, depending on the map, I think I'm gonna just stick with Viper, Brim, and Omen when I feel smoke since they fit my playstyle more. I had such a bad win rate and time with Clove because I struggled to adapt to a new playstyle and I just suck at this game in general. I do recommend Clove if you have good aim and are knowledgeable about where to play smokes. If I ever feel like my aim is crispy for the day, then I might pick up Clove again for a game or two. If this video gets 400 likes, then I wouldn't mind doing 7 days of Astra, since she has the lowest pick rate among all Valorant agents. But till then, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. You were only a moment. I am forever.